Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about pointers. What is pointer? Pointer is a memory variable. It stores address of another variable. What is variable? Variable is a container or we can say it is a memory area which holds data. We will see the example. See here, here I am creating one variable called a. Its data type is int and its value is 10. So the variable a is created and in this memory area or container value 10 is stored. So what is a actually? It is one memory area which having some data. The data is integer. So if it is memory area, it will have some address. It is invisible to the user. For example, the address of variable a is 1000. It is not visible to the user. So whenever we are saying a, we are accessing the address 1000. The address 1000 is having value 10. Since we are human being, we unable to remember the address. That is the reason we are accessing the particular address by the variable name variable name so every variable having some address why i'm discussing about addresses the pointer is the address or memory variable which stores the address of another variable so we have to understand the concept of address we will see the example of pointer here i am creating the same variable a which is having value 10 my Objective is I am going to store the address of A into the another variable that is another pointer variable. So I want to create the pointer variable. How can we create the pointer variable? First we have to give the data type then space. After the space we have to give the asterisk. This asterisk symbol is very important. This helps us to create the pointer variable. After the asterisk, we have to give the variable name, then semicolon. Now, the variable B is pointer variable. It can store the address of another variable. So, my aim is I want to store the address of A into B. What is address of A? 1000. So, I am trying to store address of A into B. How can I store it? This is the way. I am going to assign B equal to ampersand A. What is ampersand? Ampersand means address. You may remember in the scan of we may use the ampersand whenever we are using percentage D or percentage F. Why? Ampersand with any variable name means we are storing the address of the particular variable. Here I am storing the address of A into B. So you will see the visible example. So when I am creating this one, int asterisk b, the pointer variable is created. Now when I am giving b equal to ampersand a, it will store the address of a. What is address of a? 1000. So it is stored the 1000 into variable b. Now we have to remember b also having one variable. So it may also have its own address. The b address might be we will see the more example of declaration of pointer and accessing pointer. So we will see the syntax. So what is the syntax of creating pointer? First we need the data type, then leave the space, then we have to give the asterisk, then pointer name. This is help us to create the pointer variable. After creating the pointer variable, we have to access the address of another variable how can we access we have to give the pointer name equal to ampersand symbol address of another variable let us see the example example one first i am creating the one integer variable a which is having value 100 now i want to store the address of a into a pointer variable so I am creating the pointer variable. So I first I am giving the data type int. Then I am giving the space. After the space I am giving asterisk. 
y asterisk is the meaning of pointer then i am giving the variable name b now b is the pointer variable which can store the address of another variable so i am giving b equal to ampersand a so the address of a is stored into b you have to remember here i am creating the integer pointer so i can store the address of any integer variable if you want to create the float pointer you can create like this float asterisk any variable name any variable name like p x y whatever you want you can give now the p can store the address of any float variable so let me create the float variable here b is the float variable which value is 2.3 now i want to store the address of b into p i am going to give p equal to that is a po float pointer equal to ampersand b now the address of b is stored into the pointer variable p this is the way to create the pointer variable and storing the address of another variable into pointer now you may ask what is the use of storing one variable address into the another variable because we can access the variable a through b similarly here we can access variable b through p we will see how can we access now if we want to access the pointer variable we can give asterisk and the pointer variable name we will see the example this is the first example we already seen first we are creating the variable a then we are creating the pointer variable b then we are accessing the address of a and we are storing into the b now if we want to access a through b we can access like this we can see print of percentage d after that i am giving asterisk b what is asterisk it is indicating the pointer variable i am accessing the b so this help us to access the variable a why the address of a is stored into b so whenever i am giving asterisk b means it is accessing the a variable since its address is stored into the b you may ask what is the use of studying the pointer there are many applications or many uses are there in pointer few applications are dynamic memory allocation accessing array accessing structure call by reference and so on we will see this example one by one later i hope you have understood the pointer i will summarize once again pointer is the memory variable which help us to store the address of another variable we can access the another variable by using pointer thank you